So if you are attending a data analyst interview and the interviewer asks you to introduce yourself and if your reply is like this, I does not have any experience, I will be an aspiring data analyst. No, 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 no. This is not the right way. You are giving yourself the reason for rejection. So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. This video is dedicated to all the aspiring data analysts, all the freshers, all the people who want to transition in data analytics domain and want to get a job as a data analyst, as a Power BI developer, but having issues with communication skills. So I will try to address everything which is required to overcome this issue and how you can get through the interviews and eventually survive in the IT industry. So let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe the channel for more useful videos like this and also you can follow my Instagram page learn with gigs. So first of all let me address few questions which I generally get from different aspiring data analysts. The first one is I need to be very good with English speaking I need to use fancy words to attract the recruiters. No, this is not right. If you can communicate your thoughts which is going on inside you in a simple English language that is also enough to manage any interview. So this is one of the myths that many candidates have. Now the second very common question that you all have is you need to have strong vocabulary to convince the recruiters. No, this is also a myth. This is also not right. If you know basic English words to communicate properly then also it is sufficient. It is always a plus point if you have a strong vocabulary but it is not necessary. You should not demotivate yourself by saying that I don't have a strong vocabulary so I can't crack the interviews, I can't survive in the IT industry. Okay, so I hope this is also clear to you. Now the next very common question is I have to be very fluent in the interviews then only I will get recruited. This is also not completely right. Obviously, if you will stammer it after every line, if you will use incorrect grammars at every instance of the sentences, obviously you will be creating a reason for your rejection. But if you are 70 to 80 percent fluent also, then also it is manageable. If you pause somewhere, if you are thinking sometimes and speaking, that is also manageable, that is also allowed. So I think these are the main three areas in which people have a lot of confusions and I hope it is clear to you now. Now let us understand how we can improve our English speaking skill to make ourselves competent in the market. So the first thing that you should work upon is your grammar. And again from grammar also you don't have to go deep. You have to know at least basic grammar. You should understand about present tense, you should understand about past tense and you should understand about future tense. For example in present tense you should know that we use is, am, are. In past tense we use was, were. In future tense we use will, shall. If you have basic grammar clarity then this is sufficient. You don't have to worry much about it. So this is the first thing. Have basic knowledge of grammar. Now the next thing that I would recommend is see many people say that if you want to improve English start reading books. Yes that is one of the base but I don't think that is very interesting for many of you right. Even I don't have interest of reading books. So what is the alternate way? Start watching YouTube podcasts which are in English because for example you can follow Raj Shamani podcast, you can follow uh, Ranveer Alhavadia podcast. So there they invite guests and they interact with each other in English language. So try to listen to those podcasts and understand, grab the things, how they are speaking, what they are speaking, how they are interacting with each other. For example, if you have to say, I does not have an experience, this is wrong. After I, does should not be present. After I, do should be coming. So I do not have any experience. This is the right way of speaking the sentence. So when you will listen to those people, they will use these lines. Then you have to grab those things, what to be used after what. So in this way, you will be learning basic use of different verbs. Okay. And try to note it down on your paper. Again, a small example I would like to give you. So if you have to ask in the interview, can you please repeat the question, right? So this is not the right way to reply to the interviewer because can is a negative word. So instead of this, you should use, could you please repeat the question? Okay. So this is how you learn the things. You just note it down. Okay. If you have to ask like this, I will be using could instead of can. If I have to use I, I will use do. I will not use does. So you have to note it down. Listen the things, grab it and note it down. This is the best way to learn the usage of English words if you don't want to go and learn from different coachings or big institutes. And I've seen a lot of examples also who have worked on their communication skills and at the last they have succeeded also. So it is possible by utilizing this trick. Now the next very important thing that you have to do is start creating selfie videos. Okay, open your camera. You all have phones, right? You have the basic necessity. Open the video and start recording yourself. Start 
talking to yourself about anything like it can be a technical topic it can be your introduction it can be anything okay start talking to the camera that is the another important way to address your communication skill and how to get the feedback whatever you are speaking in front of the camera try to post these videos on linkedin i hope if you are searching for the jobs if you are in it industry you all would have linkedin ids right so try to post those videos on linkedin i recently have connected with harshit shrivastava he also had communication skills but he implemented this strategy he recorded selfie videos and he used to post on linkedin a lot of times i, I think on a daily basis he used to post about uh, different technical topics from power bi from sql from excel and posted on linkedin and when you are posting you should ask for feedbacks from different people what you should improve so overall at the end you will be very much benefited i know you will face criticism also your people will laugh on you also how you are speaking initially but with the time they will also forget what did they speak and at the last you will be the winner because you will be learning something out of it and in this way you will be progressing a lot and there will be a huge impact on your communication skill so i hope this point is clear to you and even if you're not recording anything start speaking to yourself in english if you are doing anything if you are having dinner or if you are doing any breakfast if you are going out in the market anywhere start speaking to yourself in english only don't communicate in hindi or any other mother tongue language start communicating speaking to yourself in english only that will be the best practice and that's how you will gain confidence to speak english in front of anyone in front of any camera so this is another important thing i hope it is clear to you now now most important thing that you should do as a fresher as an aspiring data analyst is start creating video presentation of your projects why it is important because you will be telling or explaining your project in a form of story okay and where you will be also presenting yourself in the camera so ultimately you will gain confidence to showcase your projects how your project is helpful for the business and ultimately it will give you the confidence to face any kind of interviews because i have seen a lot of interviews where the interviews happens only on the basis of the personal projects that you have done so if you know how to explain your project properly that will be an added advantage ultimately it's a win win situation for you recently i have seen a lot of freshers who are doing good on linkedin they are doing video presentations one of the example is krishan kumar you can check out his linkedin profile he recently created a video presentation of his project and it was really wonderful you will also get attracted when you will see those kind of post those kind of video presentations and overall it will help you to be confident in every aspect of life this is the power of speaking proper english and once you start facing the cameras your 50% nervousness will be gone the only part here that you have to work upon is the rest of the 50% where you need to learn how to make use of different words to frame a sentence so if you have any issues with your communication skills just work on it everything is achievable a lot of freshers have achieved it so that means there are live examples so if they can do it you can also do it and if you will do all these things that i have discussed in this video for continuously for 2 to 3 months you will see a drastic impact on your communication skills so do share your views in the comment box or if you have any other kind of problem share that in the comment box and do like this video as it really motivates me to create more useful videos for you all thank you and share this video to all the needy ones